Now, to the more interesting questions now. I know you've asked a lot of questions about methodology, about Mohkamat and Mutashabihat and all of these things. But these questions have been answered and I can continue to answer them in my, uh, in my lectures and in my books. How do we go back to the true model of an Islamic state? And how can we restore the Sunnah economy? If you study Ilmu Akhir zaman you will study Dajjal. And when you study Dajjal, you will better be able to recognize his shirk. There is a hadith which is quote, quoted in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad that it will be more difficult to recognize his shirk than it would be to recognize a black ant on a black rock in the darkness of the night. <laughs> okay? Very difficult. I say, and there's a chapter of Jerusalem of the, in the Quran which deals with the subject, that the modern model of a state which came out of Western Europe, not Eastern Europe, out of Western civilization, the modern model of a state for which the Khilafah state had to be destroyed, that modern model of a state, the modern secular state, is built very firmly on the foundations of shirk. It no longer recognizes Allah as al-Malik, the sovereign, the state is al-Malik. It no longer recognizes Allah as al-Hakam, the supreme lawgiver, the state is al-Hakam. It can take what Allah has made haram and make it halal. It's done it already. It can take what Allah has made halal and make it haram. It's done it already. What more do you need? What more do you need to recognize that when you vote in the elections for the modern secular state, you are validating the Jaz model of a state. You are entering into shirk. And 999 out of every 1000 in Akhir Zaman are going into the hellfire. Sorry for raising my voice there. But that is Sahih Bukhari. 999 out of every 1000 in Akhir Zaman, because Gog and Magog is there, are going into the hellfire. You can only say 999 out of every 1000 into the hellfire if you are Ar Rahman, Adar Rahim, and Al Ghaffar. You can only do it if it's because of shirk. Because Allah will forgive all sins except shirk. So the modern secular state is built on shirk. Can I destroy that modern secular state today? Around the world? Be realistic. I cannot. And so what do I do? I say, if I cannot establish Islam authentically at the macro level, let me do it at the micro level. If you have a better answer, let me hear your answer. Hizbut Tahrir says it is possible to do it at the macro level. I say, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Go ahead. I never stopped you. But because of my knowledge of Ilmu Akhil Zaman, I come to the conclusion it's not possible at this time at the macro level. But 20, 25 years from now, they're going to be running. And they're going to be hiding behind trees and stones 20, 25 years from now. When Imam al Mahdi returns, he's going to be our Imam. Kaifa antum. Iza nazala alaykum numariyam wa imamukum minkum. So the Khilafah is returning. The Khilafah state is returning. 
It is a state which recognizes Allah as Al Malik, like Holy Israel. It recognizes Allah as Al Hakam, the supreme lawgiver, as Holy Israel. And what Allah has made haram, the Khilafah state enforces as haram. And what Allah has made halal, the Khilafah state enforces as halal. That is coming. And it will come with Imam al Mahdi. But my position is because Gog and Magog control power in the world, it cannot come before that. So if I cannot establish Allah's deen, ikamatu deen, if I cannot establish it at the macro level, then I say at least let me establish it at the micro level. And that's the Muslim village. from the third session. We got 24 minutes left.